intersection, the intersection, the apparent intersection, and parallel are selected. And then, the visible or the transparent is on, and also snow annotation object is on. And make sure that you are in one is to one scheme. Now, let's create the boxes. The measurement of the box is 12 by 12 to a distance of 2 each box. Let's create box using the polyline. So we will go to select the polyline in the ribbon tab. And then we will to specify the first point. This is my first, first point. And 12. 12. 12. And then 12. Make sure that you will go into closer box by entering C and then enter. And then select the box and copy it to the distance of 14. 28. Then copy again all over the boxes by 14. Because 12, 12 plus 2 is equals to 14. And now we're done doing 6 boxes. Box 1. First, we will going to explode the box because it is polyline, connected line. So select the box and then X and turn. The vertical line we will go with offset by 0.5 first, offset it by 0.5 in the distance of 0.5, and then offset it again by 1. And then we will go to select these two lines and copy it. As you can see, the reference is the corner, the corner. And then this is the horizontal line. We're going to offset it by 0.5 and then 0.1. I mean 1. And then select it and then copy. This is my reference going here, going here, here. Make sure that you see the green box as the end point of the line. And then click and then enter. And then now we will going to Training. Okay, we're going to do training by how? By TR, double enter, and then we're going to do now the alternating. So if we were going to trim the vertical, the another one would be horizontal. I mean vertical again. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical training. So there's two lines. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal trim. And then again, this is vertical. We're going to trim here now. Horizontal.
that you are focused on doing this so that you can finish it Box two. We will go to explode again. Connected line using the explode command. Like this, the vertical line. We will go to set it by one. We multiple. So one is the distance, and then end point. Click going here. And then let's do the another offset. This horizontal line by one. And then multiple. Going down here. Make sure the line is hard one. Then after that, we're going to do the trim. We're going to trim at diagonal. Tr. Set the box into O and turn set it by the distance of And then we're going to create PL and turn on the midpoint to midpoint, which we're going to create a diamond. to do it correctly. Oh, 
all the connected lines so that we can see the figure clearly. Then we're going to use the extent by doing it just like in the figure given. intersection box 4. From the fifth box, we were going to do the 3, 1.5, and 0.75 offset. First, we were going to select the box offset it by 3, go inside. And from this offset the box, we were going to offset it by 1.5, go inside. And then this one, we were going to offset it by 0.75, go inside. And then after that, make sure that your midpoint is selected on. And then we're going to do the PL, enter midpoint to midpoint of this box to create the diagonal line. Then we're going to copy it. This will be my um, reference going here, diagonally. Thank you. 
moving six plus. This will be your second flat line exercise.